Hi again, Marcy Davis here from Quick Start Piano, where adults learn by playing the music they love most. And today we're going to look at some Beethoven. I recently had a request for an easier version of Moonlight Sonata, and I already knew where to find that. Jennifer Eklund over at Piano Pronto has put together a multi-level arrangement with several different arrangements, starting from easier, getting gradually harder. And you can find that over at Piano Pronto. I have just the digital version, so I'll try to show this without so much glare. I will leave a link to this in the comments. So let's take a look. All right, so our easy version of Moonlight Sonata, this one is in the key of E minor. And we're gonna start off with an E minor chord. Um, in fact, the two chords used the most are going to be E minor and B7. Let's take a look here. And then we also have a G in an inversion. So there's our root G. And a D7. You can notice they're leaving off that A. And a G major in root position. And a D7. We're leaving out the A that time. G major. And we've got our B7 again, but this time we're leaving off the pinky note. Then an E minor. B7, we're leaving off this note this time. E minor, F major, and that B7 again. And I think that covers every single chord that we've got in here. So let's walk through the actual rhythm. It will be in three beats per measure. The original is written in 6-8. And really, it will sound the same when you play it if you're playing it in three beats. It's just way easier to read on the page. So our E minor chord, that familiar pattern you've heard before. Now we're going to switch to the B7, which will be D sharp, A, B. Do four of those, and then two of the E minor. I think I skipped that one earlier, so here's our A, C, we did two of those, and then G major, and then D7, and G major, we'll do four of those in a row, and a D7, four of those in a row. switch to E minor and then back to B7 with the D sharp on the bottom this time. Then E and F major B7 and then back to E minor. Four in a row. take this up to the right hand and then take the left hand over. This is all E minor notes ending on an E note and then another E note way down here. So when you look at the music for this it's a lot of notes going on but if you look at the chords there actually aren't that many chords. So if you can think about them in terms of the chords that you're playing it will make it a little bit easier to read. So that was the basic left hand pattern. And then we've got the right hand. We have a lot less notes on the right hand. So I'm gonna play the left hand for reference. We've got three measures of this chord. And then the right hand's gonna come in on a B. Oops, I missed my entrance. And then we switch the chord. And then the same rhythm. So the right hand gets the easy job. And then up to C. Down to B. And an A. And a D. And a G. And then the right is 
going to do that same rhythm on a D. Two, three, and again. And we're going to move up to D sharp. tricky you've got a bass clef in the right hand but if you just know you're going for a B note down here and you're gonna do the same rhythm that we've been doing pinky on this B because we're going to hit this E in just a second. And back to those E minor notes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you have an idea or a request for a tutorial that you would like to see, maybe a favorite tune or a certain aspect of music that you would like to see demonstrated, drop me a note in the comments. I'll see what I can do.